How's it going, everyone? You're watching another Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video. This is Trainer Connor. I hope you guys are having a great week here. What I have here today, we have a match where I hope I get a chance to use Mega Sharpedo. Now, Mega Sharpedo got a really good ability in the form of Strong Jaw which raises the power of the move Crunch and other Fang moves. Alright, so we'll see how we do here. This is a passerby challenger challenging me. And I begin with Godzilla. This is my choice banded Infernape. Going for a U-turn right here, expecting uh, to be like maybe a a mixed Spiritomb. I haven't really faced that many Spiritomb lately. So I wasn't aware of what sets they would run at this point. But I see Psychic. That is good to know. I went into my Mawile, which I used in the in the last tournament, which was the Battle of Helen. So it has the Lumberry, which will dodge the Will-O-Wisp coming from Spiritomb. Expecting another Will-O-Wisp, I go back into Godzilla, and I am able to Dodge that quite nicely. I'm expecting a switch out of some sort. So I decided to just go for for a fire punch right there. But he chooses to stay in. Not a problem. Seeing that he couldn't get that very well means that he's a more offensive spirit him. Now here Garvor comes out. Garvors can be a little bit annoying. It could become Mega Garvor, which I'm about to face right here. So Mega Garvor is going to hopefully not be a problem. If I can paralyze it with my BXS here, I can be in good shape. Because he goes for Calm Mind, and that's very scary, because I don't want a plus one Garvor on the field. So we need to slow this guy down a little bit, so that way I can bring in something to hopefully revenge kill. Lyos can go down right here. He did okay. I mean, I would have used you a little bit more in the match, but like I said, we're going to utilize this battle fully on Mega Sharpedo, but not yet. So here, I know I'm faster than Garvor. We're going to go for play rough. I almost take out Garvor. For some reason, he goes for Psyshock. I'm not sure why, um, and the reason I went for Play Rough instead of going for Iron Head directly is just because if he wanted to switch out, I can hit something else. But that's neither here nor there. We're able to take out Garvor. And I was also aware of his Inferno as well if he wanted to switch it in. Anyway, so I don't have anything to switch in to a Flamethrower or a Close Combat if he predicted my Sharpedo. So we're going to switch in to Sucker Punch, and I get a little bit of chip damage onto his Inferno of his own. And now we're finally here. What I like about Sharpedo is that it gets speed boost when it doesn't Mega Evolve. So if you protect first and then you go Mega, then you have a plus one speed boost from before, and now you have a Mega Sharpedo right there for you. So that's what I like about that strategy there. We're going to outspeed the Inferno, but I'm not sure if it's scarfed. We're not sure. Oh wait. So first off I see um I saw Flamethrower and then close combat, so he's not scarfed. Never mind that. And I have Earthquake just for elective fire. And we take him out directly too. I get a critical hit as well, but I'm not sure if it mattered. Electivire has a little bit of, it has a little bit of good defense, but not really, it's above average, that's all I'm saying. Above average. Now, slacking. You guys know that slacking gets the ability trunk, and so we're going to protect on the turns that he's going to go for those trunked abilities. So we protect, here I get crunch on the last turn. Very awesome strategy. I think I used it before, and that was a while ago. Where I had to face the slacking, I used the same strategy, but with a different Pokemon. Anyway, so we take out slacking with my Sharpedo using that technique. Now comes Tyrantrum. Now Tyrantrum is really bulky on the 
physical side of things. So I wasn't expecting this war for the KLV. Um, fortunately, Torpedo has good defenses upon Mega Evolving. I'm able to kick out that Tyrantrum with an Earthquake of my own. So you have three KOs in this battle so far, and that's the end of that battle too. So Sharpedo, you did a great job here in the ending. Kind of a short battle, but that was the best battle that I had using Mega Sharpedo.